Barakta Shalom Israel, Shalom Judah, Shalom, Shalom to the house of Israel, Yashurel, the house of King David, Yahuda, Judah, to hope we let. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to the Most High Yah, Yeshua, Mashiach, Yashurel, and the Holy Spirit, Rakakadash, the Holy Ghost, Hallelujah. Um, black women and girls are coming up missing like never before. Black women and girls are getting snatched up like never before. That's going to be the title of the lesson. You women need to uh, take heed and uh, gird up your loins, gird up yourselves, and start covering up. The Lord is trying to tell you women something. And it's it's getting worse with the black women and black girls coming up missing. They say alone, 97,000 black women come up missing, just black women. And they say girls are three times more coming up missing. Okay? Just in 90, 2022, they said over 97,000 black women came, came up missing. Not including, not to mention black girls. With black girls and black women, that comes up to 300, some 400,000 black women and girls coming up missing every year. So, you know, you women is still going out partying, shaking your ass, thinking it's all cute. You know, uh, turning tricks, being out at night, just, you know, living it up. She that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. She that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. Okay? First Timothy chapter 5, verse 6. That's First Timothy chapter 5, verse 6. And you women need to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, and repent before it's too late. Repent because <clears throat> the days are evil. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Okay? We're redeeming the time. You got to be more cautious. Okay? You got to uh, <clears throat> you gotta be vigilant. Don't be out at night. You got to stay in, especially you women. You shouldn't even be out at night anyway. You can't tell you women nothing. You prideful. All you want to do is party and shake your ass. Live in pleasure. She that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. You women better rise up, man. You careless daughters. The daughters of Zion, I'm talking mainly to the black women. Okay? And it's getting worse, man. Black women are getting, black women and black girls are getting snatched up. Girls getting snatched up at Walmart, Circle K. Girls going to the club. Women going to the club, I mean, Salakia. Drinking, shaking their ass, men throwing Mickey's in their drink, bam, gone. Just like that. Okay? Ain't seen no more. Got you. Partying, taking things for granted. Okay? Taking, taking, taking life for granted. These are the last days, man. Lord is bringing judgment. This is Jacob's trouble, man. And you women need to start covering yourself and stop dressing all provocative, nude, okay? You got predators out here. You got walking demons. They ready. They, they, they waiting for you to slip. One little slip, they get you. So, hey, this is the time we're living in. The Lord said it was going to happen, man. And it's going to get a whole lot worse. These are the beginning of sorrows. The worst is yet to come. It's going to get worse. Okay? It's going to get worse. This is, uh, let's go to, uh, Amos. We're living in some very serious times, man. And women and girls, men right now, waiting for the lights to go out, the power to go out, waiting for this economy, society collapse so they can just target you women. And girls. And they already doing it. And it's going to get a whole lot worse. Okay. This is Amos chapter 7 verse 17. It reads. Therefore thus saith the Lord. Thy wife should be a harlot in the city. And thy sons. And thy daughters shall fall by the sword. And thy land should be divided by line. And thou should die in a polluted land. And Israel shall surely go into captivity. For of his land. Okay? We in that time right now. Women are harlots in the city. 
Men are dying by the sword and the women is dying. Let's go and get another scripture. Women is being led away captive. Silly women. Let's get that. The predators is taking you women. The pimps, the gangsters, the thugs, the Pookie and Ray Rays, the serial killers. Sweet nothings, running game on you. You partying because you want to party and have fun. You get got just like that. Let's get that. I just had a Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse, these are perilous times, the last days. You women better rise up, man. And start being modest and shamefaced, obedient, submissive. Because you're only going to be saved by childbearing. You're only going to get saved by childbearing. Pertaining to 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. But let me go to uh, 2 Timothy. Let me get that. Yeah, right here. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse, let's start with 6. Right here. It says, for this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. You silly women, man. Okay, strong delusions being sent out. All right. Yeah, strong delusions. You women are silly, man. After all, at the sin, all these women get kidnapped, get ravished, get put to death. You know, get snatched up. You wouldn't, you're not taking heed. You're not seeing this. You still want to go out and party? It's 2023, man. All this shit going on in the world. It's a lot here. We got war. You know, we got theft, burglaries, home evasions, kidnaps like crazy. Crime is on an all-time high. These are perilous times last days. Okay? This is uh, this what you women need to be doing. This is 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. And like manner also, that women adore themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with bright hair or gold or pearls or costly array, but which women, but which becometh women, so like you're professing godliness with good works. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to absorb authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived. But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. And you women always being deceived. Mass majority of the times you women always being deceived because you don't want to take heed to the man. You don't want to listen. You want to be stubborn and hard-headed. You want to be all prideful. Pride goes before destruction and the Holy Spirit before fall. So bam, you get judged. And when you women get kidnapped and raped and ravished, that's a judgment. That's a judgment, okay? Because you haunted, you prideful, okay? Rebellious. It's not, you're rebellious. It's not like you don't know, you know, and you got some of your older women. Y'all want to complain how these what, these girls coming up missing get killed, but you don't want to tell them to do the right thing, to come back to the laws. Be modest, be submissive, be submissive. Be obedient. Be shamefaced. You don't want to tell them that. Because that includes you, and you don't want to be submissive, obedient, and shamefaced. The mass majority of you. Now, there's a, there's a little small percentage. I say about 99.9% .9 of you women don't want to be submissive, obedient, and shamefaced. But we do got the elect women. For you sisters that's coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments and trying to do them to the best of your ability and repenting. Okay, now this is uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 13. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, 
And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Now, this is the key scripture right here. Notwithstanding, she should be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. Okay, you got to continue in faith. You got to stick with your man. You got to be obedient. You got to be modest. You got to be shamefaced. You got to be submissive. Okay, that's the only way you're going to make it. And the men of the Lord is going to be your salvation. Just like the, like Christ is the men salvation. Christ is our salvation. And the men is going to be you women's salvation. So a lot of you women, man, a lot of you women, a lot of you women is not going to make it because you, you, uh, you so far into the world. And so at ease with Babylon, the system, okay? So rise up. This is Isaiah chapter 32. Let's get it. We're going to start with verse 9. Because, hey, now, it's about to get real doggy dog out here. And women going to be getting kidnapped. Women going to be a commodity in Jacob's trouble when all hell break loose. When everything collapses. Women going to be getting ravished left and right, man. And men and Lord is going to be gone. We're going to be in a hiding place. So a lot of you women, man, you're going to be chasing down brothers because you're going to be need, you're going to need that covering and protection. But a lot of you women going to be getting rejected. Okay. So, hey, it's about to go down. Your money ain't going to mean nothing. Your career jobs ain't going to mean nothing. Your cars, your homes. That ain't going to mean nothing, man, when all hell break loose. So get ready. You should be trembling and humbling yourself. Repenting. Coming back to the Lord. Seeking the Lord while he may be found. This is Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. Rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Give ear unto my speech. Get, listen, rise up. Listen to the men of the Lord. The Lord is speaking through his men. Okay? Listen to your father, your husband, your man, your brother. Rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give ear to my speech. We telling you, it's getting worse and worse. You can't see these girls, these women is getting snatched up, getting ravished and raped by the thousands every day. Amount of sisters and women and girls getting snatched up every day. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 10. Many days and years should you be troubled, you careless women. For the vintage to fail, the gathering should not come. That vintage is the economy, the resources, the benefits, your career jobs, your housing. And that's falling apart. They, they evicted the housing market. The food steps, lock it. The Medicaid. The Medicare. <gasps> Excuse me, lock it, lock it. Okay? Grants, school grants, financial aid, uh, school loans, subsidizing and unsub all of that. Your taxes money, all of that is going to fail you. He's going to strip you and make you bear. And going into Isaiah chapter 3, yeah, you women going to be, he going to take everything away from you women. Your makeup, your smell goods, everything. You have no clue what's coming. You think it's bad now? Oh, man, you women going to be getting snatched up by the tens of thousands when all hell break loose. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 10. Many days and years should you be troubled, you careless women, for the vintage should fail, the gathering should not come. When this economy collapse and fall, it's, it's not going to get back up. It's not going to be the same. It's going to be destroyed. It's going to sink more and more. And it's going to be desolate. And when Babylon America fall, feminism fall, feminism will get destroyed. Lady Liberty, 
You will not have the liberty to gab in abroad. No more. Okay? It's going back to the patriarch, the ancient times, where men will be doing the picking. Okay? And if men got daughters, he would pick the husbands for them because the man know what's best for his daughters. So the man is going to be, be doing the picking. And Isaiah 4 and 1 is coming in place. Okay? And that day seven women should take hold of one man saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. That's to take away your shame and your disgrace. Only a few men going to be left. It's going to be a shortage of men. Okay? And, and seven is a number of completion. Perfection represents completion. So it don't have to be seven. It can be three. It can be 20. It can be 70. It can be a 150, it can be 700, 300, whatever completes that man, whatever the Lord wants that man to have, okay? And that day, it's going to be all hell. You women ain't going to be thinking about, oh, he got all these women. No, you're going to be wanting some stability, protection, food, clothing, raiment, all right? That's what's coming, man, because the Lord is going to strip you women with every everything he's going to take away from you, food, water, the men Lord is going to have it. He's going to have it all. So women is going to cleave on to that. Okay? The Lord is going to put the spirit out there, man. And when he stripped Babylon, when he take this place down, feminism is falling down with it. You wicked, prideful ass women. And he already bringing judgment. That's why the Lord is allowing these men to do this to you women. Because you don't want to hearken to the Lord. You don't want to hearken to the word. And you want to be evil and wicked. You don't want to submit. You don't want to be, you don't want to cover yourself and be modest. Shame face. Under subjection. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 12. They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars, yea, upon all the houses of joy and the joyous city. Yep, it's going to be a sad day, man. All right? So that's coming. And this is Isaiah chapter 32, verse 2. And a man should be as in hiding place from the wind. That wind represents destruction. The men of the Lord are going to be away from that. And a culvert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So the men of the Lord are going to be out in the wilderness. Let's talk about the wilderness. He's going to have food, shelter, clothes, raiment, clothes. Yep. A place of refuge, protection. The Lord of hosts going to be watching over him, the angels. So, yeah, we men going to be protected, man. Let's go to, it's about to get real bad. And you women, man, you think this is a joke. This is Luke chapter 23. Let me just go here right quick. Verse 28. And it reads. It says, but Jesus turning unto them said, daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Weep not for me. The Lord, the Jesus telling them. Our Christ, Savior, and Redeemer, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves, because all hell is about to break loose, okay? But Jesus, Yahshua, some of you say Yahweh Shai, turning unto them said, daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming. Be for behold, for behold, the days are coming in which they should say, bless are the burying, and the wounds that never bear, and the pots which never gave suck. So, in other words, this is the time women that never had no kids, well, that's not pregnant, ain't got no kids, or if they do got some kids, their kids grown out of the house. Yeah, this is a good time for you, especially women ain't got no kids, period. Okay? Because women was always looked down, looked down upon. Uh, women was always looked down on. They don't have no children. They don't, don't have a husband. But now, this is going to be 
the tables is going to turn. It's going to be good for the women that ain't got no kids, don't have no children, okay? Because that's how bad it's going to be. It's going to be that bad. And it says, then should they begin to say to the mountains, fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. Now, let's go to, uh, and I'm just going through by, through the spirit. This is, uh, let's go to, uh, yeah, man, Micah. Micah chapter 7, verse 10. Okay, she that is my enemy should see it, man. And a lot of you, mass majority of you women are enemies, especially to the black man. You enemies to the black man. 99.9% 99 .99 of you women are enemies to the black man. And you know it. Okay? You know it. You don't want to take heed. You don't want to listen. And this is why you women get kidnapped, getting snatched up, getting ravished, getting raped. Matthew chapter 7, you don't want to, you don't want to dress modest. You want to dress all provocative tees, man. And men are sexually deprived, especially the black man. But right here, let's go right here. Michael chapter 7, verse 10. It says, then she, then she that is my enemy shall see it. And shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trotting down. Now shall she be trotting down as the mire of the streets. And a lot of you women be like, be saying that. You sisters, you daughters of Zion. Where is your God? Why you ain't got this? Why you ain't got that? Oh, you just talking. Okay, you ain't did nothing so far. A lot of you women be mocking and scoffing, man. Again, it reads, it says, then she that is my enemy shall see. You're going to see Jacob's trouble. You are already seeing women getting kidnapped and ravished. Okay? Getting snatched up. Men killing you women. Killing their wives. Kill, killing their spouse like never before. Then she that is my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her which said unto me, where is the Lord thy God? My eyes shall behold her now. Shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. A lot of you women going to be stripped. Okay? You're going to be sitting in the mire, sitting on mud, rocks, Stripped from everything, shameless and hopeless. And you ain't gonna be able to do a damn thing about it. Ain't nobody gonna help you. Come to your aid. Okay? The Lord don't put the spirit on the man to take you in. You're finished. You're finished. And we're your salvation. Okay? That's what Isaiah 4 and 1 is. Okay? To take away your shame, your pride, your haunty, wicked ways. All right? And in that day, seven women should take hold of one man, saying we would eat our own bread. What day? The day when all hell break loose. Jacob's trouble, great tribulation. And in that day, seven women should take hold of one man, saying we would eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach, to take away your shame, your disgrace, your wicked ways, your prideful, haunty, wicked, evil ways. All right? You women wicked as hell, man. And this is why you get snatched up. You don't want to listen. Constantly telling you. Other brothers is constantly warning you. You still ain't getting it. And a lot of you women is held comfortable. You are not warning the sisters. Some of you warn them a little, but you're not really warning the sisters. You want to talk about all this other stuff and some of the teachings, but you don't want to get down to the teaching where you women need to be teaching. Okay? Being, uh, you know, being, 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 um, uh, what's that, uh, Titus 2 and 3, being, uh, you know, an example, a, a, a good, you know, uh, role model for girls, teaching the young women how to be good keepers, chase good keepers at home, obedient and submissive. A lot of you women ain't doing that. Okay, so lock you. Now, this is Zechariah chapter 14, verse 1. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, and thy spoils should be divided in the midst of thee. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem, that's Israel, to battle, and the city should be taken, 
and the houses rifle and the houses rifle and the women ravish and the women ravish and half of the city should go forth into captivity and the residue of the people should not be cut off from the city. Okay, this is happening. And they about to come in, man. Okay? And seize the cities, coming to black communities, shut it down. They about to declare martial law. And they're coming after black women. Okay? Especially when the economy collapses, you're gonna have more criminals. They're gonna let these inmates out, these these, these prisoner inmates. And age. A lot of men is in there locked up be behind women that put them in prison. A lot of you women put these men behind prison and they coming back for vengeance for your box. Okay? So, yeah. And then you got the troops that's going to seize the city and come in and, you know, snatch black women up. These, these, uh, these foreign troops, you know, these, uh, Gentile nations, they're going to be getting the daughters of Zion, ravishing a lot of the daughters of Zion. So it's going to be all bad, man. This is why you women need to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments and repent and start covering yourself and be modest, shamefaced, submissive, obedient. All right? And take heed. A lot of you black women and girls are getting snatched up like never before. That being said, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to the Most High, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And let me read this. I'm going to close out with this one. And wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time, strength, and salvation, and fear the Lord is his treasure. That's Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And let me close out with Isaiah chapter 13. Let's start with 11. And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay low the hauntiness of the terrible. Okay, women are very haunty, arrogant, prideful. Pride goes before destruction and the Holy Spirit before fall. Listen to this. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12. I would make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than a golden wedge of Ophir. So the man of the Lord is going to be more precious than fine gold. Okay? You got to go find and dig for gold. And that's hard, finding and digging for gold. Man going to be more precious than that. Okay? You women going to mourn. Okay? You women is going to mourn. Okay, you think it's bad now? Nah? You women complaining you can't get a man now? Nah? Oh, it's really going to be bad. Second Edges chapter 15, verse 33. Sec I mean, 16. Salakia. Second Edges chapter 16, verse 33. The virgins should mourn having no bridegrooms. The women should mourn having no husbands. The daughters should mourn having no helpers. And the war should their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands should perish with famine. And that's going to happen, man. They're going to go over there by the tens of thousands to fight in World War III. And when they come back, no, they ain't going to come back. And if some do come back, it'd probably be two or three, if it be that. So there's going to be a shortage of men. Then you got men that's going to die in the street battle trying to take care of their family and protect their family. They're going to die famine. Plagues, pestilence, sicknesses, diseases, and by the sword. Yep. So the Lord is going to get the ratio back to where men can have many wives, many women. And it's going to get that. And that's only going to be for the elect men. Okay. So that's coming, man. You women going to mourn. The virgins is going to mourn having no bridegrooms. The women is going to mourn having no husbands. And the daughters is going to mourn having no helpers. That's coming. So you women is going to be forced to submit. Bow down and submit. Bow down and submit. Be shamefaced. Or get punished. Be left out there with the wolves and the hyenas. And most of you ain't going to want that. So, hey, the Lord is bringing judgment. Put everything back in its place. Righteous order. Decent order. Okay? So, that being said, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to the Most High, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Jesus. Shalom. And I'll uh, see you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Hey, black women better, hey, take heed and start covering yourself, man. It's about to get down. It's about to get worse. You think black women coming up missing now? Black women and girls, it's about to really get bad. All right, see you in the next lesson. Rock a thigh.